tonight, we go from 12 to 1 as we crown the 2014 Scripps National Spelling Bee Champion. That's right, the National Spelling Bee, the Hunger Games of the Mind. <laughs> It, it was filled with inspiring moments, and not just from the winners, but the fact that the losers all went out with incredible poise. Just look at this girl, graciously waving like royalty and shaking the hands of all her competitors before giving the greatest post-defeat interview ever. What's next for you as you take the, on the next chapter? I'm going to go home, take 24 hours, and watch every horror movie on which I can get my hands. <laughs> I love this girl on which I can get my hands. Even in her darkest moments, she cannot bring herself to end a sentence with a preposition. <laughs> I would love to see an athlete lose with that kind of grace. Have a quarterback walk off the field saying, well, yes, they beat me, but in the next game, out is the direction in which they should be watching. I bid you good day. I bid you good day, gentlemen. Inevitably, most of the children ended up making mistakes, although, to their credit, none made as big a mistake as one of the officials did. Feja Wada, May I have the sentence, please? Tabitha discovered that while her milkshake brought all the boys to the yard... No, stop, oh, boy. Stop, stop. Oh. oh, I'm sorry, I was reading the wrong sentence. Sorry, uh, the, the, the correct sentence is, uh, Kurt enjoyed a dish of vejawada and bitter greens, hard like a rock, when you make that pussy pop, pop that pussy. So... <clears throat> but the kids persevered through that inexplicable moment, leading to an uplifting, historic finish. 13-year-old Anson Sujo and 14-year-old Sriram Hathwar claimed a rare dual victory at the nation's largest spelling bee. The face-off ended in a tie after judges exhausted the word list. You know what? After a week of terrible stories, military crackdown in Thailand, VA scandal, Greek neo-Nazis, it was truly heartwarming to see two children celebrating in a cloud of confetti. And watch how long it took for CNN anchor Chris Cuomo to ruin it. It feels pretty good because um, not only do I get the victory, but I get to share it with someone else, so it means a lot to me. Between the two of you, you're going to have to figure out a way to decide who's better. Is there any kind of other competition that you're thinking of, like where you kind of meet in an alley or at some predetermined <laughs> pizzeria and you just have it out just for your own sake, mano a mano at some point? Well, I think that we're both pretty satisfied with our performances yesterday, so I don't think that that's quite necessary. Hey, yes. Um, Chris Cuomo, I've got a question. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> Who goes to a spelling bee and when there's a tie has the instinct, finish him? <laughs> you know, there, there's a word for Chris Cuomo, but I don't know how to spell it. Kids, would you mind helping me? A... Yes. S. Good. S. Go on. H. O. L. E. Correct. That's correct. That's exactly what Chris Cuomo is. You are all winning.